Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 30, and in today's video I want to talk about the magic of Tricut. It's a machinable wax and Tequani ap applications produce the stuff, and I want to send out a big thank you to Graham who sent us a big box to have some experiments with. Um, it really is incredible stuff, we've used it for all kinds of processes in the workshop and it saved us a small fortune materials and not to mention the errors that we've made. So in this video we're going to look at five reasons why you really should give Tricut a go. So, reason number one why you should really give Tricut a go is it is available in a huge range of uh, pre-cast sections. So there's these tiny little bits which can be used for, you know, the, the Medela type hobbyist machines. Presumably this was from some kind of uh, trade show or something, it's got a little Tricut sticker on it. There's tiny little bits like that, right up to enormous cuboid hefty bits like this, um, which can be used on a big CNC mill. It's also available in round cylindrical sections for turning work and it really is um, very convenient to be able to use it directly off the shelf without uh, any faffing. So the next advantage is the fact that the wax can be recycled so let's have a quick look at that. So when you're working in tri-cut the, um, the swarf comes off as a combination of small chips um, and the odd longer spiral but all this stuff can be melted down in a, in a conventional oven. And I've seen one fab lab that actually does use a combination microwave oven, obviously don't microwave it, but um, this can be heated up, melted, and then poured into whatever shape mold you want to recast it. So as a prototyping material, it's extremely inexpensive. And the fact that it can be melted means that you can use it in processes such as lost wax or investment casting, which I believe um, there are jewelers that do that. So another application for this fantastic material. So reason number three is that it's actually gonna save you a small fortune in the long run. What you're looking at here is a six mil thread mill that costs about 80 pounds. And it's not an unusual design, it's just been snapped off. And we use that um, for milling or thread milling some of the holes in this uh, level three CNC plate job. Um, so we don't have a, um, an encoded head, so we can't use rigid tapping. So we use these fantastic, but very, very expensive thread mills. You'll notice that this is snapped. Um, sadly, one of our students is a training environment. They're gonna make mistakes. Um, rather than setting up um, in tri-cut, as we recommend, they've set up in aluminium. We've got the datum slightly wrong, and we've snapped the head off. 70, 80 pounds in the bin straight away. We now make it a, a workshop rule that any tool setting that done is done in tri-cut because if you make a mistake, what you'll end up with is a chip in the tri-cut, a lesson learned, and a lot of money saved as well. So reason number four is gonna take us just into sort of the structural integrity of this stuff. So even though it's a wax, it's, um, it's remarkable stuff. Here you can see the, um, this hole, and this has been thread milled correctly, I might add. There is a perfect thread created in wax, and you might think that that'd strip out easily, but we've had that in a vise and pulled pretty much with all our might, and there is no stripping the threads out of it. It is really, really stable, fantastic stuff. Let's have a look at how it machines. So this is one of the recast cylindrical blocks that we've got chucked up in the machine. Um, it has got a little bit of a wobble on, but that's another testament to uh, just how strong this stuff is. If you, know, if you tried machining a standard wax, the uh, centripetal force would just snap it, but it's very, very stable and it's free machining. So um, we're just taking some, some cuts along the length there and look at the length of the, uh, the swarf that's coming off. It's absolutely fantastic material to machine and it's brilliant for someone new to a machine environment. Lathes and milling machines are quite scary things, especially to a younger student who's uh, never done it before. And this just has the effect of increasing confidence and you know, knocks and bangs will happen, especially at the start of a machinist's career. And that's gonna lead to damaged inserts and God forbid machine crashes. This just takes a lot of the stress right out of it. And um, we can you know, spend six or weeks doing various introductory projects in Tricut and um, not have to worry about any major damage to machines or tools. Fantastic material and uh, highly recommended and you can get it from uh, Techwani applications and that's Tricut website which we can see here. So until next time do look, like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you in the next video.
This will be the last video that I'll be filming in this beautiful workshop. I'll be leaving the college for a new position back in industry um, after this. So these videos are going to continue, but they're going to continue in a slightly different form. I want to extend a big thank you to Bucks and Elite College um, for the time I've spent here. It's an absolutely fantastic institution and we really do make a big difference to the, uh, the lives and aspirations of young people. And for anyone who's interested in engineering, you might be a young person thinking of getting into it, talk to your local FE college because they're amazing institutions with amazing people who work really hard to help you achieve your dreams. So all the best. Next video won't be in this beautiful workshop. We'll be trying something different, so we'll see you then.